before I went and saw Nanny See Me, I was completely braced for disappointment. Mainly because of how good the trailer was. And I usually find that when a trailer is that good, the movie itself is mm, inferior. A lot of the time, a really good trailer leaves little room for the movie to be better. It was also supposed to be suspenseful and mysterious, and I didn't want it to turn out to be predictable like so many other movies in the past have been. But, now that I have seen it, LOVED IT! I'll just run you through this quickly. In a nutshell, a team of four illusionists, or magicians if you prefer, team up to uh, perform bank robberies. FBI and Interpol are trying to catch them, but the magicians are like ten steps ahead the entire time, giving them the finger the whole way and then giving the money to their audience! It had a really good twist. I never ever saw it coming. Not once did it even occur to me that it was a possibility. Freaking awesome! Basically, it's Inception with magic. Except you can understand what the hell is happening. And you know it's good because they've already planned a sequel. Bring it on! Mark Ruffalo, underrated actor playing an angry FBI guy. Jesse Eisenberg, it was really good to see him in a role where he didn't play a socially awkward nerd. Woody Harrelson played a sarcastic mentalist with hypnotism skills so epic that he had complete strangers doing his bidding. And even though you know it's just a trick, he kind of has you believing he really can read your mind. And you gotta love Isla Fisher. You probably know her best from Wedding Crashes and definitely maybe. She does a trick with some piranhas that make you think, whoa, she was in this for a short time. And then there's Dave Franco, younger brother to James Franco, who was also the drug dealer kid in 21 Jump Street, and he's got some mad martial arts skills. The only thing I didn't like was that while watching the movie, I accidentally ate someone else's half-melted chocolate. At least I hope it was only half-melted. And that it was chocolate. Michael Caine was accidentally locked in his dressing room overnight. He fell asleep after shooting and didn't hear the director yell that's a wrap and then he was just locked in there the entire night until, some, until the next morning when someone heard his cries to help. Also, the scene with the card trick that was performed at the beginning of the film was specifically edited so that the audience watching the movie picked the exact same card as the audience volunteer in the movie. Movie magic. Nice. If you like this movie, you'll also like The Call, Limitless, Man on a Ledge and Inside Man. So overall, I'm giving this movie 5 top hats out of 5. Highly recommend it, go see it, I'll see you next time. And we're out with a magic trick.